Well, we're about a month and a half away from the start of the 2022 college football season. And here is our first episode of Hanging with the Herd as we get ready for that season opener. We're exactly 50 days away from Marshall football's season opener. A lot has changed since we last saw the herd compete in their bowl game down in New Orleans. So the coaching staff is the same from last year, but a lot of moving parts when it comes to the player side of things, especially with the transfer portal and all of that. So with the guys you have in here now, are you pretty excited about it? Yeah, I'm super excited about the new pieces we have. And I think it's going to like help the new scheme that we want to have and just just the overall, the new culture that we're trying to build. I think we got the right guys to put in place. Among those new players, transfer quarterback Henry Columbi from Texas Tech. Um, it's always tough going into a new, new atmosphere, a new team, and trying to, trying to just build the chemistry with the guys and uh, just trying to show them who you are as a person. Columbi spent three years at Utah State before transferring to Tech. In his first season with the Red Raiders, he played in six games where he threw for 1,065 yards and eight touchdowns, ranking ninth in the Big 12. Then last season, he started five games for Tech. He totaled about 1,200 passing yards and five touchdowns. When the season ended, he entered the transfer portal. When I got back in the portal this time, Marshall reached back out to me. So it was a, uh, it was a relationship I already had with some of the guys. You know, I know some of the players on the team, like Corey Gammage. You know, a lot of us were, were from the same area, mm -hmm. same area of code. We played together a little bit. So I think just kind of being closer to home, being closer to guys that I already know and the coaching staff that uh, reached out to me was important to me. A coaching staff that's also stacked the quarterback room. Whenever you need, you're in a situation where you need some veteran leadership, I mean, those guys are always there for you. Redshirt freshman Cam Fancher is another one of those guys competing for that QB1 spot. He says he's excited to see what this fall brings, and he's especially excited for September 10th. What about Notre Dame? How are you feeling about that? I'm excited to go there, too. Yeah. You know, uh, their head coach is from my high school, so I grew up with him. So it's kind of going to be a little surreal seeing him on the other side. No way. So yeah. you know him pretty well. Yeah. Oh, that'll be fun. Him and my uh, stepdad, they grew up together. So no way. He's always been a mentor to me. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. So is the whole family going to go and stuff? Yeah, I'm trying to get them all up there. And of course, we had to check in with this guy, running back Rasheen Ali, who totaled the most rushing touchdowns in the nation last year. Like on the vision board, I actually wrote like, I wrote all like the goals I wanted. And like I hit every goal but two, and I was just as far as my investment. So I'm not not to say that I expected it to happen, but I put in the work, and I really like I spoke it into existence. Ali says he's been working hard this off season, not only in the weight room but off the field too, working on building a new culture and creating more chemistry among the offense. And this year, I kind of plan to do the same thing, and just honestly, just have better like team results. And remember, over the next six weeks, tune in every Friday night to hear more from The Herd.